Okay, now I want to talk about using at extend in SAS. This is a, another way of reusing things that you've written, a way to speed up how to write your CSS. So I'm going to define here three properties, warn, error, and critical error. These are classes that I'm going to use on my web page. When I want to define, okay, something needs to be warned about, I'm giving the message to a user and they, I want them to pay attention to it, so I'm going to use a bright color. Then there's error, which is something bad, really bad that's happened. And then critical error, something that, well, nothing else can be done until they deal with it. So I want these things to represent something on the page that requires a little bit more attention. Every level I go up, more attention is required. So perfect chance to use at extend. What this does is it lets me copy some other CSS that I've written somewhere else in my file and include it in something new that I'm writing. So I've defined this class warn with the color bad, bad, that's my variable from up here. Inside my error class, I also want to use that color. So I'm going to say extend.warn. Now I have included any and all CSS inside of here. So if I were to add something else, like font size, and let's make it medium. Now, warn and error both have both of these properties. Now I can come in and say, all right, with the error class, I also want to have a background. I don't want that in warn, just in the error class. So let's set a background color, and I'm going to use a SAS function. There are functions that are built into SAS. Lighten, for example, what it's going to do is it's going to take a color that I provide it and I can lighten that color by a certain percentage. So let's take that color we're using for the fonts and I'm going to lighten it by 40%. There we are. So this is 40% lighter than this, but it's still the same hue. So I've got a, a light red as opposed to a dark red. Okay, so now error has this extra property, whereas warn and error are sharing these properties. Come down to critical error. Well, I want to extend not just what's in warn, but also what's in error. So all I have to do, you guessed it, add extend.error. I don't have to extend warn and error, just error. And that will also include, you can see up here, critical error was included. So all three of these have everything that was defined in warn. And then critical error and error, they get the things that were defined in error. And now new things that I can add, let's just say border top, uh, 2px solid, uh, we'll take our bad color, do the same on the bottom, 2px solid bad, and let's bump up the font size as well. So we're going to override the font size from that first one, make it our large font size. There we are. So this is going to override. You can see it's written after this one as well. So this font size is going to be overwritten here. Okay. Now, one other thing that you can do with extend, I mean, this is great. This saves you a lot of time. If you're going to be reusing properties, you can define, and this doesn't have to be a class. It could be an ID. It could be a tag style, anything at all. You're just copying over everything that's written inside of there. It's kind of like having a mix in, but the mix-in is already being used somewhere else on the page. Okay, one other thing that you can do with this, let's say I defined an anchor style, and we're going to use our color, and then I'm going to use my parent selector and add a hover style for anchors, where we'll say that text decoration is underline. Okay, so I have those now. There's my anchor style and my hover. Now, what if I wanted to reuse this, all of this? Well, I can do extend with that as well. So let's create a new class called dot link, where there's some other properties. We'll say font size on these things. Uh, it's going to be large, and they've got a border, 1px solid, pink. You know, something that you use all the time. And... Uh, We've got these properties, but I also want to include this color and I want to have a hover pseudo class on link. Well, if I just at extend a, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add link hover and link. So not only did it copy the stuff right here for anchor, but it also understood that parent element is referring to link, not just a, but also link. So we got a hover and link hover. So great, great tool, extend, experiment with it, play around with it. You're going to love it. You're going to save a lot of time using this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.